In terms of what uh, the Prime Minister can be expecting to achieve, can she get anything out of Leo Varadkar this evening to come back with? Well, when I think you when I think you look at the events of the last 24 hours, uh, particularly with Jeremy Corbyn's big move yesterday, you can see exactly why you know, the EU is not prepared to move because the EU's game really has been. The EU is watching British politics very closely, and their game is really there. For a long time, they were holding out, hoping that by constantly stonewalling Theresa May, refusing to give any concessions, they would be able to uh, actually force uh, the UK into having a second referendum. They were looking at parliamentary manoeuvres to do that. And I think when you look at Donald Tusk's uh, outburst on Wednesday, when he talked about you know, the special place in hell, that was almost a sort of emotional lashing out. The EU finally accepting that they're not going to get their way to get a second referendum. So instead, what they're looking at is actually thinking, well, we could take the option that we don't want, which is actually compromising, uh, compromising on the backstop and making it, uh, you know, making it less unacceptable to the UK. Or we could actually um, you know, look at what Jeremy Corbyn's doing, force the UK into a softer Brexit position, because that's now the offer on the table. And they're thinking, well, that's probably the, an easier route for us to go down. I think there were actually reports uh, this morning saying you know, Labour's policy shift was, you know, they were in close contact with Brussels insiders talking about this Corbyn's big move to come out and say, you know, we'll support you if you basically go for the single market, market and customs union. You know, we saw that before when Keir Starmer, you know, coordinated the uh, Labour's original shift to a customs union with uh, senior EU officials. So I think, you know, what, what we have here is, you know, the EU has no intention of offering May any compromises as long as it knows it can keep indulging in parliamentary games to undermine her. But, but Hugh Bennett, um... The EU might like Jeremy Corbyn's offering uh, more than what uh, Theresa May is asking for, but she has reportedly told them that she cannot get her party behind his letter and that there are 30 MPs who would never back her deal without EU movement on the backstop. So, so where next? Well, exactly. I mean, when you, when you look at the numbers, whichever way May turns, there's going to, there, are, there are numbers issues, and you look at the Labour Party as well, you've got a lot of the, the strong Labour remainers, you've got people like Chris Leslie, Chukru Munna and stuff, uh, Owen Smith, up in arms about Corbyn actually making this uh, you know, halfway you know, compromise offer to Theresa May, actually, sort of, uh, to get a deal through. So I think, you know, wh whichever way May goes, uh, you know, she will have trouble. I think if she actually goes and, and you know, I, it's, sort of, it's almost like sort of, you know, with all this hell, hell imagery going around the last few days, it is basically doing a deal with the devil. You know, she will get a deal through, but at the cost of, you know, condemning herself to eternal damnation in the eyes of many of her supporters if she actually accepts Corbyn's offer, compromises on all of her core manifesto principles, you know, just to get a deal through. So, so